Okay, just me again. Um, you probably noticed if you got partially through the Styles video, it was kind of long. And maybe you didn't listen to the whole thing. But in that video, we changed the styles, and seems to me the way that works is you have these chord progressions and then there's certain patterns in the style that are associated with two bar note patterns and you can build your own style and I'm still trying to learn how to do that but they can be rather simple and they kind of randomly select which part goes with that. So, depending on the style, there's sort of a certain pattern with some variation that uh, tends to reoccur in a given style. And that's all fine, but you may have noticed with the song we started with in that video the uh, instrument that plays the melody never changed and yet the strings, the guitar, drums, piano and bass bass, <laughs> bass is a fish bass, um, these were changed with the style as well so you got certain patterns of notes that work here but this is all the rhythm section, I guess, and the melody and the soloist sort of operate somewhat independently of those two. But to sound good, there's got to be some harmonic relationship that I don't completely understand, but I, I've got some ideas. And I think after you play with software like this, you begin to get a feel for it. Well... The neat thing about this, you know, without a whole lot of effort, you can uh, play a song and change the style, but then you're not stuck with the instruments provided. You can change those instruments. And Band in the Box basically has two kinds of instruments. There's MIDI tracks, which generate sounds based upon certain instructions uh, typically from a software synthesizer that runs in your sound card or on your processor or it can send a message out of cable and actually run a keyboard or something externally that's a little bit beyond my experience but you can do that and you can get different synthesizers and that sort of thing to get uh, better or worse uh, electronic renditions of real instruments so if your particular track like the guitar track up here you know like it you can change it and see how that sounds the other really neat thing about Band in the Box, it has these real tracks, and I'm not exactly sure how they pull that off, but they've recorded actual artists doing different riffs and somehow assembled that into a Windows Media Audio file, and depending on what the style tells it to do, it'll select those notes. Uh, adjust them for tempo over a certain range. Uh, the manual suggests you try to find a style that's close to the tempo you're using, but I've found a lot of times you can violate that suggestion and it still doesn't sound too bad. Um, as it turns out, it's pretty easy to change the instruments. I have noticed though, and we'll talk about that later, uh, at least with version 12.5 this is 13 maybe it's better now the uh, when you bring in a MIDI file from the outside world and stick it in here it seems to be sometimes hard to change the instrument 
and if you go into a diff different software like Finale and break the parts out, save that as a MIDI file again and then try it again, it seems to work. So there's some mystery to that that I haven't figured out. But I've been talking for five minutes and we haven't heard any music and that's just shameful. So I've loaded up uh, another one of these soundtrack files because I'm too lazy to type in my own chords. And we'll talk about chord progressions and a little bit I've learned about it googling chord progression on the internet. And uh, at some point I'll make a video where we kind of build this all from scratch. And you can take two approaches. You can either build a melody from scratch and you can actually view the song in uh, regular notation here and these things um, show different the different parts you can edit these things you can also edit the patterns that go with uh, the the uh, style but you know I'm really getting off topic here well this is all about is just simply changing instruments so uh, I'm gonna shut up and just sh start playing this song and switch instruments around a little bit and you can see it's pretty simple um, of course some of the results may not sound too good but that's all in the fun of it I guess so let's go ahead and start this tune and uh, we'll change some instruments. Oh, the other thing I want to tell you here is if you right click on these guys uh, and you really want to hear clearly what you're doing uh, sometimes it's handy to solo it or or, uh, or maybe you want to mute some of the others uh, you can take another approach and uh, fiddle with the mixer bars if you pull this out it will tell you what instruments in here and uh, this through is really I'm not really sure I can't I, I think that's for hooking up to an outside instrument but nonetheless I don't mess with that you can also put audio tracks in here of course uh, you get kind of limited to uh, uh, tempo and that sort of thing and uh, usually you put those in first and then build everything around it so anyhow just uh, little teasers to give you an idea of some of the myriad of things you can do and I promised I was going to shut up and I haven't yet so uh, let me make good on that and we'll play this song uh, as it comes straight out of the box and then we'll well, not, oh, we might change some styles too, but uh, uh, we'll mess around mostly with the instruments. Okay, let's uh, see what's going on with the solos here. And that's a cello. And maybe we want to do something different. What's a trumpet do?
Okay, let's uh, try another one. What's going on with the melody? Okay, this is a melody track. It's slow strings. Oh, bet your guitar or something would sound a lot different. Or what's a piano do? Some parts don't play all the time. Could this stop playing? I forgot to loop it. Just not doing much in that part. Get the jello in here. That's a lot different than the uh, pad. What's that do to the overall mix? Okay, it's kind of fun to play with. Um, and then, how you mix it, 
How you mix it also makes a lot of difference. standard drum kit first. Not too, too dramatic. We may want to try some real tracks here. Selected that one. Click OK. Let's generate. <laughs> What's that going to do to the overall composition? I don't know. Let's see. stop the music for a minute um, I did want to point out something here on these chords well, these are just pretty much chords there is additional command you can add into these bar boxes uh, each one of these is a bar and these are rests so right here the bass piano and guitar are not played and you can change these letters to get different combinations. And that can really be fun too. If you've got something that's rather monotonous, you can mix it up. And you can also change your styles. Most styles have a substyle here, and we could change that to a different substyle. We could also put another style in here altogether with this defined C to D. And uh, I don't know what we're doing here. Uh, probably in the new age stuff we could find something that's reasonably compatible. I think that was called mystery or something like that. Let me move this over. Yeah, mystery one. So, uh, you know, let's try mystery two. Just to uh, change it up a little bit. Then click OK down here. And so now this is style D, and oh heck, let's put style D in here. And uh, we can do that. So now we got style D in there. I don't know if we can add any more. Uh, we can define another substyle, EF. Oh heck, why not? Let's see what that does. So now we're back with our new age stuff, and. Uh, Let's just throw something in here, like, I don't know, what's this little <laughs> dash of cosmic smooth jazz? Who knows what that'll do? Well, let's try it. We're having fun here, so 
we'll try that and uh, while we're at it let's uh, see we've got a Seamus on in here uh, let's add some real tracks here and we will make that uh, I'm going to show all I have no idea what I want to do here we got accordions and banjos and bass and fiddles and let's put a good old country rob in here let's see something about uh this is uh 110 tempo solos gypsy jazz who knows what that's gonna do and we'll generate the track and let's give it a shot and see how much damage we've done to this thing it's uh Huh. Gonna be different, I think. The just about awful let's uh, try something different here um, let's do 